Astro Kids and welcome back. This is your January 2020 horoscope for Virgo Sun, Moon, or Rising. So if you are new to this channel, this is your first time watching, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. And of course, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And feel free to leave a comment. Also, if you're watching this on Instagram, feel free to leave a like as well as sharing this out and following the page so that you don't miss out on any new content. So starting off, we have the Page of Swords in Reverse. And so you are being called to change your thought, change your perspective of the way that you are seeing things in your reality. This is a shift and there's a lot of change that is coming. There's a lot that you're going to go through. And so there is a major change in perspective that needs to take place going through this process. Remember that we are moving into a solar eclipse in Capricorn. And if you'd like to know more about that, go ahead and check out the video on the new moon solar eclipse in Capricorn for Christmas Day. And here there is a major change, there's a major shift that you'll need to go through and especially as this is followed by the tower card. And so a major transition that you are going through, major things falling apart, major things coming to a conclusion in your life, as this is giving you the space and the freedom to create something new, something brand new. And so a lot of the structures, a lot of the systems, a lot of the security that you have built up. This is time to build something new that is better for you in your life. And as you know, this is a number 22 year in numerology that we are moving into in 2020. That is the master builder about building this security, building your surroundings, building your connection. What are you connected to? And so this is a major time to make sure that anything that you are connected to moving into 2020 is something that serves you on your path. So January will be a major time of sort of reconstructing the things going on in your life, the things that you are connected and attached to to make sure that these things are fully serving you to the highest, greatest good. And this is something that you will see majorly with this Pluto-Saturn conjunction, as well as the penumbral lunar eclipse in Cancer that we'll see 
in early 2020. So it's a major reconstruction, major transformation that you will be going through. And with the sun in reverse here, there is this message of remembering to to have fun, remembering to do what brings you joy, remembering to do what brings you happiness in your life, as you will be going through some major intense shifts and moments. But always remember that it all comes back to doing what you love, because with the King of Wands here, there is something here about you stepping into your power. The more that you are doing what you love, the more that you are doing what serves you, the more that you are doing what you are passionate about. What are the gifts and the talents and the skills that you can do that you are passionate about, that you love? This is sort of the bright light that is going to get you through these major transitions as you are moving forward. So we wanna turn that sun card right side up and fully express yourself, do what brings you the joy and the passion as you are moving through this January transition, especially with this major transition of this Pluto-Saturn conjunction, which will be breaking down major things in your life. So this is a reminder again with the king of wands that you are in your full power when you are doing what you love when you're doing what you are passionate about when you're filled with that joy that warmth that enthusiasm right when we talk about the king of wands this is a fire energy about doing what you love doing what you're passionate about And with Aquarius in reverse, there is this resistance to change. There is this resistance. Again, we talked about in the beginning that there needs to be a change in perspective. And so with Aquarius here, it is asking you to do something different. It's asking you to do something unique, step into something new. So there is a different way, a different perspective of handling this new path that you'll be entering. So the old way of doing things is not going to serve you. With Aquarius here, there has to be some new inventive way of handling this new journey and path that you are on. So this resistance to change, this resistance to doing something different, for those of you who are staying in what is comfortable, what is safe, this is asking for you to step out of that. This is asking for you to create something new and different. And we talked about that with the tower card, right? This Aquarius energy is very similar to that tower card of this elevation, I'm sorry, this evolution, this reinvention, this major change of doing something different, creating something different, right? Aquarius is a very innovative sign, very unique sign of doing something different. And don't be afraid to stand out with this Aquarius energy. Right? There's also something to Aquarius where Aquarius can stand out, be very weird, very unique, and still find a way to connect to the crowd. So there's something here where you have to stand out and be your true unique self even as you are connecting to others in this space of unity that we are moving into with this North Node in Cancer that this is about unity, this is about divine connection but there's also something here where you have to be your true unique self. And again with Sagittarius in reverse, there is this major resistance to this new space that you are moving into. With Sagittarius being the philosopher, there is something here where you need to adventure, try out something new. You need to experience something new, go on this new journey, this new chapter, this new story. And we 
as we know, this new story is this Jupiter in Capricorn that is about doing the work that is about taking the practical steps and utilizing the resources that you have to create something great to get across that finish line, to get to the top of your achievements, your success. And so remember that this is not going to be easy. This is challenging. This takes steps. This takes work, effort, discipline to get through this. But there's also something here where Sagittarius is a fire energy. And we talked about this fire energy earlier with the sun card and with the king of wands that you you are here to do what you love. You are here to do what you are passionate about. And even with that Aquarius energy to stand out. And so it's time to decide the journey, the quest that you are going to go on throughout this whole 2020 experience. And with Virgo here, make sure that you are breaking down all the information, seeing all the little details to make sure that everything on your path serves you. And this is so in tune with this North Node in Gemini with Venus retrograde on top of it, where you're going to have to question the things in your life. Do they serve you? Do they hold value in your life? And making sure that you are taking these practical steps with Virgo here, your own card, of taking these practical steps to make sure that everything in your life serves you. And there's also something here about service to others. Again, we talked a lot about doing what you love, doing what you're passionate about. And as you do that, there is this service that is given to others. As you're doing what you love, you're sharing this out to others on their path. So this is a major transformation moment for you. This is a major adventure that you were going on. And this is all about doing what you love and putting in the time and the effort to reach these goals and achievements in life. But it all ch starts with changing your perspective, changing your mindset as you're moving into this space. So that was your 2020 January horoscope for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video.